So this is the beginning of a, another day at Caravan Salon 2020, the largest RV show in the world. And despite the fact that lots of companies didn't bother coming in this year because of COVID, uh, uh, it is still, I, I suggest that it still could be the largest RV event in the world for the next 12 months. This is the 2021 range from Mobile Vetta Design from Italy. This is their Kia P90 vehicle. And I'm now going to walk over here and find out something about it. See, it's a queen bed. It costs uh, 68,533. In this form, it was 747 long, 295 high, 235 wide. 3,157 kilos in weight and it, it draws vehicle weight from 3,500. So you're going to put four people there. You've got to have that on a higher basis, 3,800, uh, 850 or something like that. Um, four sleeping places. So before we go in, as always, I'll, so I'll touch things. I'll put some of this stuff on. Uh, sanitizer. And uh, let's... Uh, walk in and have a look sanitizer is uh, I'm doing my best I'm touching things I'm doing my best to keep myself and others uh, healthy right so what about the light situation well uh, as you can see before I started this I put the light on so uh, uh, this is the best I can do um, well let's see Let's see how, how, well, it, how well my best uh, has worked out. Okay, the advantage of a queen bed is that you can get in from both sides. And as you can see, yeah, you can actually get in from both sides. A queen bed will, as a general rule in most brands, uh, go up and down. If you want to have more space in the garage or you want to have easy access. And... Usually, this thing he also opens, but not in this case. Oh, sorry, that wrong, wrong thing I'm trying to open. Sorry, here we go. This, this bed will open like that, giving you access to the storage below. So, you can see, you've got plenty of storage under here, and you've got a drawer that comes out, as well as having wardrobes on either side of the bed. which can be used for storing uh, sheets or something. Can't see that, can you? No. I still can't see. Okay, right. Hey, that looks all right. Cartier, La Ponte, Eau de Parfum. Oh, sorry, I thought it was chocolate. Uh, anyway, it's empty. It's just, just a box that's been put in here for sure. Right, now one feature in this van is that you can close the this part of the van. Assuming this works, yes it does. And not only does it work, but it comes across, I see that, in two parts. It's supposed to come across in two parts. It's supposed to come across in two parts, but it doesn't because for some reason it has been I oh, know it's supposed to come up. All right, okay. Here we go. Italian design made by Italians. Hello. 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 So in here we have a uh, shower, which looks a bit like a, a sauna, and the light in there comes down quite effectively, in my opinion. Also. We've got the duckboard down there. There we go, close that off. Got more lights in since uh, you may have heard somebody come and say hello. So the lighting situation has now improved in here. But my comment about a thing not working was was heard. Not as bad as I had a situation like the other day. I was uh, 
making fun of uh, a dream of van and I had the person standing behind me. I don't know when he was there, but he had heard quite a lot of my amusing comments. I think I had to start the video again. So, uh, which uh, be, I was, was being a little bit on the negative side about the vehicle. Right, okay. Uh, modern range, modernish range in this corner. That looks good. There's a sink down there. To avoid uh, taking the glasses away, I won't show you the sink. But you've got these things here, which are quite handy. That comes out like that. Whoops, and that comes off the railings like that. <laughs> didn't have a, didn't have something to stop. So I'm, I must point out that whereas uh, you know, it, uh, often you see things broken in events like this. This could well be the people who are using them who don't know how they work, such as me. Or alternatively, it could be that uh, it's genuinely broken. I mean, if you buy a new van, you've got to expect lots of things to be broken. That is why you're probably better off if you can get a demonstration van buying that one instead, because at least the demonstrators have been demonstrating how it works well up there we've got the bed up here i think that's supposed to be a double bed or a very large single see what comes down so you've got plenty of space around it it also comes with nets. You see, there's a net. Uh, the nets are very slack as well. Net can sort of tie up there to that thing there. So you've got lots of leeway. So it'll stop you falling out. Well, it should do anyway. Uh, but uh, hopefully it won't stop you um, getting in and out. What about under it? Let's walk under. Well, for those who want, want to see the bed coming down, a frequent request, there you have it. You could sort of still sit up here front and have your uh, your beer or whatever in front of you uh, if you wanted to. And you actually, you can even make this table even bigger. No, you, yes you can, but I can't do it. But the, the table will double in size. I need two hands. And uh, right, so I did actually ask for assistance uh, here to come here with another person, and this was this was denied. It was denied actually five years ago. And uh, the thing is, they allow these PR company don't allow advertising staff to come uh, unless they pay, and they don't have access to the press room. But they do allow PR companies, which is effectively advertising that's because that's what their, their job is it's to get their clients free publicity and uh maybe not so much in this business but i can say this what i was doing before i was working at a packaging magazine magazine in the packaging industry and um there you get all the these swarms of people from agencies and as the agencies were taking all the money, the advertising budgets, which meant there was none left for the uh, magazines. So it had the ridiculous situation that uh, there's one company in particular. I'm going to do a video on this because it's, it's such a disgrace uh, on the, how thing, the abuse of... Um, is that they had the entire budget and nobody would work with them. So they, they couldn't get their stuff published anywhere but they had swarms of them floating around here in Dusseldorf, where the lar world's largest packaging event is held every three years. Anyway, so uh, I actually, I haven't been offered to do it for some time, but I used to speak quite often as an expert on the industry at uh, events, and I spoke in various countries, uh, uh, France, Spain, Poland, Russia, 
um, on, on packaging questions. So, uh, right, good, good. There you have a look at uh, this, the Mobuleta P90 motorhome, and let's enjoy the wonderful sound of the hoovers to take us out. <laughs> 